His Majesty King Hamid bin Isa Al Khalifa received today at Safriya Palace, the Jordanian's monarch advisor for military affairs, and Jordan's armed forces chairman of the Joint Chiefs of Staff, Lieutenant General Marshal Mohammed Omeshad and Mohammed Al Zaban, who convey the greetings of His Majesty King Abdullah bin Al Hussein and his wishes of progress and prosperity to Bahrain. His Majesty conveyed his greetings and best wishes of further progress and pro prosperity to the Jordanian people. He expressed his appreciation for the brotherly historic relations between both countries, noting his keenness to bolster these relations in order to achieve the best interests for their countries. His Majesty the King hailed Jordan's remarkable role in maintaining regional peace and stability. He also noted such brotherly visits which enhance cooperation and coordination, especially in the military field. Jordan's Armed Forces Chairman of Joint Chiefs of Staff expressed his appreciation for meeting with His Majesty the King, hailing Bahrain's leadership's keenness to enhance their brotherly relations on all levels. During the meeting, both sides discussed regional and international issues. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa met at Gudaibiya Palace. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince Deputy Supreme Commander First Deputy Premier Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa. The Royal Highness has highlighted His Majesty's care to honour those who exerted tremendous efforts in service of their homeland and society and have effectively contributed to the development process. They said the step motivates everyone and gives them support to continue serving Bahrain, pointing out appreciation to all national efforts and that the government is always keen to provide the best environment for excellence. The Prime Minister congratulated the Crown Prince on the occasion of the graduation of his son, His Highness Sheikh Isa bin Salman Al Khalifa, from the Britannia Royal Naval School with merit and the College Commander's Award. The Prime Minister said the scientific and military accomplishment made by His Highness Sheikh Isa bin Salman reflects the determination of Bahraini youth to seek knowledge and skills that reinforce the effectiveness of their role in the national action process. He said that the government is keen to create the suitable atmosphere to motivate youth's creativity in all fields, wishing Sheikh Isa bin Salman continued success. The Crown Prince thanked the Prime Minister, commending his constant directives to support youth and reinforce their abilities to provide what is best for their homeland, society and nation. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister received at Gudaibiya Palace the Speaker of the Representative Council Ahmed Al Mullah, Speaker of the Shura Council Ali Al Saleh, the Supreme Judicial Council Chairman Salem Kuwaire, representatives and Shura Council members and state officials. His Royal Highness said the world is going through economic and security challenges and stressed that Bahrain's authorities should cooperate to overcome these challenges. He stressed the need for joint action to achieve more progress and maintain security and stability. He said the government's top priority is the citizens and affirmed the follow-up with citizens' needs through meetings, visits, officials and media and affirmed to always act fast to meet their needs. His Royal Highness loaded the strength and cohesion of the Bahraini society and its ability to maintain gains and the forward march of progress. He said that despite the challenges, Bahrain will continue to be a distinguished country in various fields and these challenges only drive the people of Bahrain to exert more efforts and be more motivated. He loaded the cooperation between the executive and legislative authorities in finding proper solutions for economic challenges to guarantee Bahrain's economic progress and provide high living standards for citizens.
His Royal Highness the Prime Minister also chaired today the Cabinet meeting at Gudaibia Palace in the presence of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince Deputy Supreme Commander, First Deputy Premier. The Prime Minister praised His Majesty's National Day speech, which emphasised the importance of unified efforts to protect Bahrain's interests and drive forward sustainable development and reform in line with international standards. He then commended Bahrain's first commemoration, commemoration day, which will be marked every year on the 17th of December, during which the kingdom will pay tribute to the bravery and sacrifice of servicemen while serving the country and protecting its security and stability. The Prime Minister also congratulated Arab and Islamic nations on the celebration of the birth of Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, and wished all citizens prosperity and blessings. The Cabinet then emphasized the importance of collaborative efforts to confront all forms of terrorism and praised the establishment of the Saudi-led military alliance to combat terrorism. The alliance will include the establishment of a joint military operations center to coordinate and support military action. His Royal Highness also directed the Ministry of Industry, Commerce and Tourism to work on facilitating transaction procedures at the Bahrain Investors Center to ensure work is carried out as efficiently and effectively as possible. The Cabinet approved a memorandum regarding the inclusion of a number of African countries eligible for e-visa services. The memorandum lists 11 countries. It approved a memorandum regarding an aviation services agreement between the governments of Bahrain and Georgia and then took note of a number of draft proposals made by the Council of Representatives. The Minister of Information and Parliamentary Affairs, Isa Al Hamadi, held a press conference following the Cabinet meeting. He affirmed that the plan to reduce expenses will not affect the rights of citizens, employees and retirees. He also lauded Bahrain's collaborative efforts to confront all forms of terrorism and praised Bahrain's participation alongside the Saudi-led Arab coalition in protecting the legitimacy in Yemen. Her Royal Highness, wife of His Majesty the King, President of the Supreme Council for Women, Princess Sabika but Ibrahim Al Khalifa, opened today the magnificent Maharaja Splendor of Indian Royal Costumes exhibition at Bahrain National Museum as part of Bahrain Authority for Cultural and Antiquities celebrations of the National Day. Her Royal Highness toured the exhibition, which displays a collection of historic royal costumes from the private collection of Deepak and Daksha Hutsing, alongside revival pieces made using millennia old techniques by Umang Hutsing in a bid to ensure the continuation of a rich textile heritage. The President of BACA thanked Her Royal Highness for her patronage and attendance of the exhibition, commending her continuous support to cultural activity and to all projects that strengthen Bahrain cultural infrastructure.
The Commander-in-Chief of the BDF Field Marshal Sheikh Khalifa bin Ahmed Al Khalifa met today the son of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince His Highness Sheikh Isa bin Salman Al Khalifa on the occasion of his graduation from the Britannia Royal Naval School with Merit and the College Commander's Award. The Commander-in-Chief presented His Highness with First Class Order of Efficiency in honour and appreciation of his progress in the military field. He congratulated His Highness on his accomplishment and his efforts that earned him the Honour of Merit and the College Commander's Award, wishing him every success. The BDF Commander-in-Chief also met today with Commander of Joint Peninsula Shield Forces, Major General Hassan al Shahiri. Field Marshal Sheikh Khalifa Ben Ahmed praised the efforts of the Joint Peninsula Shield Forces in reinforcing the unity of goal and destiny that link the countries of the GCC. The meeting also discussed issues of common concern. And the BDF Commander-in-Chief also met with Jordan's Armed Forces Chairman of the Joint Chiefs of Staff, Lieutenant General Mashal Mohammed al zaban and his delegation. Field Marshal Sheikh Khalifa Ben Ahmed loaded the deep-rooted relations between both countries and reviewed with the Jordanian officials' cooperation and coordination in the military field. Earlier today, the BDF Chief of Staff welcomed Jordan's Armed Forces Chairman of the Joint Chiefs of Staff upon his and his delegation's arrival in Bahrain. Also present were the Commander of the Royal Bahraini Air Force, Major General Pilot Sheikh Hamad bin Abdullah Al Khalifa, and Commander of Sakhir Air Base, Brigadier Mohammed Musalam. The representative of His Majesty for Charity Work and Youth Affairs, Chairman of the Board of the Royal Charity Organization, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, attended the RCO's board meeting. His Highness Sheikh Nasser valued the support of His Majesty and RCO's Honorary President to charity and humanitarian action undertaken by the organization. He commended the support of the government, led by the Prime Minister and follow-up of the Crown Prince, valuing the efforts of the RCO staff for their dedication and commitment to performing their duties in providing full care for orphans and widows, in addition to all people in need. He highlighted RCO's humanitarian role in providing relief to the needy inside and outside Bahrain, which contributed in reinforcing the good reputation of Bahrain internationally. The first Deputy Chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, President of the Bahrain Athletic Association, His Highness Sheikh Khaled bin Hamad Al Khalifa, deputized Minister of Youth and Sports Affairs, Hisham Al Joda, to honor the winners of Khaled bin Hamad Youth Theatre Award held at Isa Town Club Theatre. Six national clubs and four youth centers took part in the context. His Highness praised the part played by participants in the award, stressing that they were able to provide wonderful plays with a unique national sense. He said Bahrain gained a new generation of young actors which will improve Bahraini theatre. He said that Bahrain theatre work is a model among the GCC countries through the play it presented and contributed in the progress of theatre work in the region, highlighting Bahrain's achievements and stressing his continuous support to Bahrainis in this field. He thanked the national clubs and youth centres who took part in the context, loading their roles and the addition they made to Bahraini theatre. He then expressed appreciation to the Ministry of Youth and Sports, led by Minister Al Jorda and the organising committee for this event, wishing them success. The Minister of Energy, Dr. Abdul Hussein bin Ali Mirza, participated yesterday in the meeting of the Council of Ministers of Organization of Arab Petroleum Exporting Countries to discuss cooperation between members. Egyptian President Al Sisi received at the Republican Palace ministers, including Dr. Mirza, who are participating in the 95th meeting of OAPEC. The Minister of Energy conveyed Bahrain's leadership's best wishes of further progress to Egypt's leadership and people. He expressed Bahrain's keenness to participate in such major regional and international events in order to enhance joint Arab cooperation in the oil and gas fields.